Rolling. Boleh. Wow, what's the clap for? <laughs> In this brand new season of The Family Affair, four families across Asia live with cameras for months. A supersized Singapore family struggles to stretch the dollar. When you everything multiply by eight, then you really feel it. Like even if two dollars increase or one dollar increase, it, it becomes eight dollars or sixteen dollars. Why does pizza have to be so expensive in Singapore? In China and India, teenage tantrums abound. Tera subah subah mobile mein kya kaam hota hai? Tera kaun se message aane hai bade jaruri? And over in Japan, singlehood burdens aging parents. From round-the-clock filming to secret confessions. When I see the bank account reach the three-digit, my wife asked me how, how. <laughs> Find out how these families keep it together. <laughs> and how their lives are just like yours. In this episode... So, you are here to explore the possibility. Yeah. I think this house very nice, huh? Yeah. I know you're coveting the, the garden for your aviary. What do you think of the idea of living in and moving to Malaysia? Yes? What do you think? Yes, a lot. Our house is like the place. It will be very, very inconvenient to travel back and forth between Malaysia and Singapore to go to school. When decisions have to be made, how do these families resolve their differences? The Family Affair. Twenty-two-year-old Varun is making lunch for his father Vikash because he has some news. News that his father won't be pleased to hear. Tana bhi badega ha. Aapne jahan se contact wagera jis hotel se aaye the, maine mana kar diya. Varun has loved cooking since he was a child. He skipped university to become a cook at India's national airline. It was a prestigious government job which led him to further his career as a chef at five-star hotels. But as the hotel changes, I thought that I don't have a lot of people in any hotel, or I don't have a lot of people in any hotel. Let's give it to the hotel. Overworked and disgruntled, Varun left his job and has been unemployed for two months now. His father, Vikash, has been helping him look for a job. He wants to get a job. कि हो जाए जॉब में लग जाए किसी भी चीज में लग गवर्नमेंट जॉब में लग जाए आजकल एक माँबाप की इच्छा होती है कि बच्चा अगर गवर्नमेंट जॉब में लग गया वो रेटा हुआ का फोन आया था इंटरव्यू के लिए सैलरी तो कम है What Vikash doesn't know is that his son has plans of his own पैसे वैसे करा दो फिर मैं अपना ही खोल लूँ मेरे मेरा मान नहीं है कि अपना करने से बेटा मुझे डर लगता है ना नहीं अगर मना कर दिया तो फिर उनकी मर्जी के बिना काम करना बड़ा मुश्किल हो जाएगा नाम मुमकिन सा ही हो जाएगा नौकरी बुरी नहीं है टाइम तो खराब हो रहा है सोलह घंटे के लिए कौन खर्चेगा बारह हजार चौदह हजार सुबह छह बजे जाओ रात को दस ग्यारह फिर बज जाएंगे � 
नहीं तो फिर अपना जॉब पकड़ो बेटा टाइम बहुत कीमती है भाई एक तो दे दो Over in Singapore, 18-year-old Asha Ong is also embarking on a new phase in life. He is attending a mainstream school for the first time. All the all the angles are already correct already. After years of being homeschooled, he has now qualified for Nanyang Polytechnic. Before school started, I wasn't scared at all. I wasn't nervous or anything. I was just like, it's going to happen. I'm just going to go to school. It's just going to be another space where I go and learn in. I expected the school to be very driven. The lecture is very driven. I expected the people to be friendly. Okay, so I'm going to use eight, and then I'll get everybody to do that. Okay, so I'll, I'll make a frame for everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The first week of school, I already had friends already uh, because I was very outgoing. I. I made friends with a lot of people. What's the second waist size? Okay, you you get us to a size. Off and on here. Never mind. We just have it on then when we don't want to really cut it off. Because and I mean. Tomorrow we're gonna have to put it back on. Oh really? Yeah, because tomorrow is the presentation. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I wasn't expecting the intensity of the course to increase so drastically. The expected quality of work from the lecturers was something that I was quite surprised by. I'm still learning how to manage my time. One month on, and Asha is struggling to cope with the intensity of tests, projects, and schoolwork. The comment on, on my layout was safe. It's very basic. Not while it's in like pushing boundaries, like or, or, or challenging the core venture. Safe is not outstanding. Yeah, safe is not outstanding. So, so I mean, you're 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 on the same plane as as 70 other people. And the way to make your things stand out, you have to think hard, lah. I get criticism from lecturers and feedback on my work, how I can improve, how I can change my mindset. He wants us to push ourselves harder in terms of what is good work, lah, and not just play safe for the marks. Wait, because, because it's still flexible, lah, ma. So, so you must uh, calm down and rest it like a, like a shirt. Now, nights in the Ong family are spent helping Asher with his school projects. It'll be more complicated if I have to put a metal frame underneath this. I thought you were talking about it just now. Uh, to have it over no, There's no point. I can just put like some straps across. This is the board. This is me. This is my body. This is Asher's third project. He has to make a device that's an extension of his body to measure sound. His first two projects were deemed not creative enough. So he really wants a breakthrough this time. But time isn't on his side. When do you have to hang this one up again? Monday. And you haven't started yet? I've been running this for the whole weekend, but then I got other stuff to shoot. So I had to push it back. Sometimes I'm very lost. The brief is just too wild and, and I have no direction to go in and sometimes very, very frustrating. Things are actually pretty chaotic right now. I got a lot of things to juggle. After putting effort and my best, I really hope that the lecturers and people around me can see that it's also a good piece of work. लेकिन हम लोग अपने माँ बाप के आगे इतना नहीं बोलते थे चुप रहते थे देख ले बेटा मैं तो क्या बार बार तुझे एक बात कहूँ बार बार कहूँ अच्छा नहीं लगता ना अपना सोच समझ ले और कर ले फिर जैसे करना है अभी कुछ कर थोड़ी नहीं लिया अभी वो देख ही तो रहा हूँ एक बार देखूंगा तभी तो बताऊंगा तसल्ली से फिर सोच लेना सही लगे तो बता देना कर लूंगा नहीं सही लगे तो नहीं करूंगा चल जो भी है तुम मम्मी को आने दे माँ बंदा को दिखा जो करना है दुकान वुकान पहले देख ले तो हमने भी ये मन में सोच लिया है कि अगर ये बहस कर रहा है 
टोका टोकी करने से कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है इसके मन में हमारे प्रति फिर बच्चे के मन में आ जाते कि माँ बाप हमारी बात को हमेशा मान ही नहीं रहे टोक रहे हैं तो एक बच्चा थोड़ा सा दूर होना चाहता है बच्चा धीरे धीरे दूर हो जाता है वो हम नहीं देख के आ रहा हूँ मैं वरुण वॉन्स इज फादर टू लोन हिम फाइव थाउजेंड यू एस डॉलर हाँ यही है बट फादर विकास हैज बीन आउट ऑफ अ जॉब सिंस ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन He only has a share of rental income from four flats owned by their family, plus some savings meant for his children's marriage. अगर थोड़ा बहुत कम भी पड़ता है या आगे पड़ेगा भी थोड़ा सा क्योंकि व्यापार जो है शुरू में तो पैसा खाता है इन केस हमें अगर जरूरत पड़ती है तो हमें ऐसा कोई तंगी नहीं होगी वो इधर उधर से हम अरेंज कर ही लेंगे Last week, the Saito family received some unsettling news. Nakamoto ni nakita ko kyu masaku natte kita tte yu renraku o eh to shiji no imoto kara watashi wa denwa de. De sore o ano ichi o shiji no keitai denwa ni eh naka ka call shita ndesu keto ma kaigi chu de naka naka denakutte eh o hiru mae ni wa renraku wa tsuite sono ato shiji wa jikka ni kita ndesu keto. Aiko san tada ima. Yumiko's husband, 57-year-old Sakaichi Saito, did not make it in time to see his mother. She died of end-stage lung cancer. あの時々は母と一緒に病院に付き合うというようなこともありましたけれども、その時は元気にあの振る舞っておりましたし。まあ、そういうことが訪れるというふうにはちょっと予測してなかったので親の半分がいなくなってしまったというよりはなんか8割くらいがなんか消えてしまったような。84-year-old grandma Noriko was well loved. うん、なんかこの間その亡くなった時にたまたま近所の方から電話があって電話取ったら。であの孫のはるかですって言ったら「ああのアナウンサーの?」ってその近所の方が言ってくれて「あやっぱ話してたんだ」みたいななんかそういうおばあちゃん。Was Kozo's main At 88, Kozo has マーノリコは、ジャンパー・コーゾーのメインケーゲバー。88、ジャンパー・コーゾーは、マーノリコ。The family is now struggling to find Grandpa a nursing home. なんかあの妹と話してる？妹からもあのいろいろあのそういう施設の資料もいくつかあのもらってるんで、まあその中であのいいところがねあればと思ってるし。はい、ありがとう。今の老健にはいつ頃までいるの？えっとそこはちょっとまだわからないし。まあ、そういう中で、あの、今、そういう施設に入っている。あの、そのことについては、あの、興味を持っている様子でございます。で、まあ、実際に、えー、ここにいつまでいるんだという質問をさ,されまして。あの、今は、あの、なんていうか。実際、妹と一緒に話し合っている状態でもありますので。あの、け検討中なんでと、本人は今の状態、状態の。なんか六七割を理解しできてるんじゃないかなと、まあうちの家もあのお父さん足がもう片足ない状態で車椅子だし、まあその状態で家もバリアフリーでもでケアをしてプロにケアしてもらうのが一番いいような気がする。七十五了，我其他屋头三个女儿都出嫁了，老头已经走了两三年了，现在都只有我一个人。After her husband passed away, Jiang Shixin tried living with her second daughter. 
but she valued her independence too much. Within two months, she moved out. Zhang Huaying is Jiang Shixin's youngest daughter. She lives only 10 minutes away, so she checks in on her mother every day after work. In recent weeks, Huaying has noticed her mother displaying worrying symptoms. 近段时间嘛，他的记忆力啦那些衰退都比较严重，完全是啊，我吃了那么多。我有时间东西放在那里，我去找找不到，搞忘了，不晓得去哪里了，啊，聊没来呀？有时间搞忘记了，出去走一
，我们厂头人最多的事儿是三百多人。我的形象啊，就是那个大家都觉得我有点歪哦。Since her only son Wang Changpeng got married, Li Tai Xiu and her husband have lived with the couple. 胸罩和内裤是各洗各的，我从来没给你拿到洗衣机头去哈洗。Now there are three generations living in this three-bedroom house. Work工作原因,他一直都是領導角色,所以說他在家頭也是領導地位。只晓得买那么贵的那个肉也是要买土猪肉三十斤我才忙打锁都不得买我母亲是一个大嗓门的人属于比较情绪化那种你必须得听他的哦玉米也是那个好多现金的嘛金是买些最贵的十三块以前小
to buy the first that you want. You know, I, I've, I'm trying to think of ways to reduce our spending and I really don't know what we can leave out. Amen. <laughs> Okay, Uncle Tak Ching and Auntie Wai Ching are having us you over for lunch. And after that, we're going shopping. What do you want to eat in Malaysia? Prata! No, it's called roti chanai. Yeah. The Koch family moved to Malaysia 10 years ago so that their five children could be homeschooled in a more spacious environment. Previously, this was a pond. Right here? Um, this was the walkway. The pond was on either side. So that means your garden was much bigger. So we enclosed this area, put up the air con. Yeah. So now it's a free play room. They can play ball here also. <laughs> nice. So big. This house with an area of more than 13,000 square feet, would cost at least 11 million US dollars in Singapore. The Cox bought it for a fraction of the price. This place might look big, but I think the cost of it 10 years ago was actually quite affordable with the ringgit. The only thing is that traffic has, has caught up, the traffic mm. at the checkpoint. But there are a lot of people who do commute every day. Oh yes, oh, yes. my son goes out every morning by couple. My oh, son is in the NS doing national service. Oh. There are obstacles, but there are ways to overcome the obstacle solutions. Sue has been toying with the idea of moving to Malaysia for three years now. We can actually stretch our dollar a lot more when we live in Malaysia. We could eat without being so worried about how much we're spending. Oh. But at that time, Dan was reluctant to leave his civil service job. I actually wasn't ready and I think that, you know, unless uh, I, I go to find a job there, I, I was uh, quite averse to the idea. In Singapore, we're really treading water right now, Law, because as the kids grow up and their, their fees and their education also starting to cost more per child. Now, with Dan's new job, and a pay cut of nearly 40%, the couple are revisiting the idea of relocating across the causeway to Johor Bahru. So, you are here to explore the possibility. It's always very tempting, <laughs> you know. It's always, of course, for a large family, you know. Yeah, it's very tempting. Yeah. Oh, so nice. This lifestyle is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Our, our favourite rabbit. Yeah. So I would like a big house. <laughs> yeah, like maybe two stories in the garden and then you can keep pets or so. That's actually the... For a fraction of the price, you can have a, a larger space to live in. You can have a car to drive and the food is so much cheaper. What is the big one? All these things just kind of like tugged at our heartstrings. Wow, Pula, that's a nice house. Like that. Over in India, Varun has engaged the help of his mother. He wants to convince his dad Vikash to loan him some money to set up his own business. 
घूम रहा था इधर उधर शॉप देखने के लिए हमें नहीं बताया इसने कि मैं शॉप देख रहा हूँ जब इसने देखी दो तीन देखी फिर मेरे को दिखाई इसने और मैंने कभी मना भी नहीं किया कि वरुण को कि भाई मेरे को था कि इसको खोलना तो है क्योंकि इसकी बचपन से आदत है इसको जो जिद पकड़ लेगा वो इसको जिद पूरी करनी है पैसा इतना दबा के क्या रखा है निकालो दबा के निकाल के रखा है दबा के पैसा वैसे बहुत कर दो बस तसल्ली ना तीरे जोड़ के रखने से क्या होगा जोड़ के कहा है कि इधर उधर से इंडाश करो जोड़ के रखा हुआ मैंने इधर हाँ थोड़ा दो थोड़ा मैं इधर उधर से करते हैं हम नहीं तो मैं ये चाहता था कि बंदी इनकम जब आ जाती है बच्चे पे तो उस पर इतना दिमाग पे जोर नहीं पड़ता कि उतना पता है इतना काम करना है इतना मुझे मिल नहीं जाना तो उससे मानसिक तनाव भी होता ही है सर अगर आप एक दो घंटे बैठे हैं और दुकान पे कोई ग्राहक नहीं चढ़ता उनकी नेगेटिव सोच रहती है ज़्यादातर ये बिल्डिंग पूरी मैंने डेढ़ महीने में रेडी करवाई थी जब तक पापा के हाथ में काम था तो छः महीने लटका रहा हरे राम बाबू मैंने हाल तो ये भरोसा नहीं हो रहा कि किदा होएगा तो उसी तक गला करी जा रहे हो वरुण बता भरोसा दिला पापा को फिर भरोसा क्या दिला सब कुछ दिखा दूंगा मैं तो एग्रीमेंट वगैरह पैसे हम लगा देंगे मेहनत करनी है तेरे को वरुण ठीक है ना और मेरे को साल के अंदर अंदर भी पूरा पैसा मेरे को वापस चाहिए प्रत्येक माँ बाप बच्चों के सपने पूरे करने लगता है करने की कोशिश करता है कोई भी हो तो माँ बाप या पिता को दुख तो बहुत होता है कि वो बच्चों के लिए कुछ कर नहीं पाया अंदर एक ग्लानी एक थोड़ा सा हीन भावना भी आ जाती है देखो पता ही पापा का पापा ने तो कभी हाँ करनी नहीं है पापा को तो मनाना पड़ेगा है ना है तरह कर मनांगे बता जल्दी बता बेटा हाँ हाँ मैं सीरियल तो मना बता सीरियल, दे सीरियल, वो सीरियल ये नहीं कि कोई मजाक नहीं चल रहा अगर पैसे लगाने हैं तो सही से बता कि हाँ मेरे को करना और मेहनत करके करनी है दुकान तीन महीने में दे दूंगा मैं जितना दोगे मेरे The Ongs are in Johor Bahru, the Malaysian town right next to Singapore. They are exploring the possibility of relocating their super-sized family here. It's been a while since they've gone shopping. The younger Ong children usually wear hand-me-downs from family friends or older siblings. See, it'll be oh, nice. Yeah. This oh, one, this one. Nice. You picky girl. Hedgehogs. Look at that. It's a hedgehog. You it's don't a hedgehog. Like it's a hedgehog. I don't like hedgehogs. This is the first time in how long we're buying clothes, huh? <laughs> Quite Very well, huh? We never can find anything in Singapore because it's so expensive. I love it. The kids wear their clothes until they'll be like, Mommy, I have no clothes to wear. <laughs> we survive each on like just one pair of shoes. We don't have like a few for them to choose. This one's cute. I wonder if we have enough cash though. Yeah, yeah. About 17 pieces. 300 is about $100. Mm. It's less than $10 per piece of clothing. Get ma Mama cut for you, okay? Yeah. Auntie, why do you sound very nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Too much space. Too much space. I know you're coveting the, the garden for your aviary. What do you think of the idea of living and moving, moving to Malaysia? Yes, what do you think? Our house is like the side of the table. Then the what? The water bill is Seven ringgit. Seven ringgit a month. Wow. To think 100 in Singapore, then on here can only pay like one dollar. <laughs> you all like the idea? Maybe if we find a place. I would like to go to Malaysia and live there. That's the cost, which is so much cheaper, I feel. Especially for our big family. Yeah. <laughs> All the Ongs are keen, except one. Oldest boy, 18-year-old, Asha. I think my siblings were supportive of the idea to move to Malaysia because they thought it was a fun idea. But I also thought that it was immature. There are so many things, factors that you have to consider besides just like the the bare necessities of oh we have to buy food, we have to buy clothes, we have to we have to pay for the house. But that's exactly what we're coping with right now. Yeah, but it'll be very inconvenient for me. For design school already, I'm already sleeping so late already. 
And that's why you know you must spending time with us even if you don't know, want to. It will be very, very inconvenient to travel back and forth between Malaysia and Singapore to go to school. We can't make a decision for the family yeah, but for just the... based on your inconvenience. Yeah, but for me, like, I, I want to be with my family. Well. I mean, so long I've already been you ready in your the, the school, in the school already. And I... I mean, obviously there are ways. I think you're making it look very bleak. It is very bleak. I have actually had some friends that have to travel back and forth every single day. It's very, very tiring. But we have to weigh the, the pros and cons. You know? We have to think about everybody, not just you. Yeah, you're centering it all around just to... It's not cast in stone. So no one is angry about this. But we just be continuing this stuff, right? I feel having to move to another country um, just because I can't afford it here anymore. It's just kind of sad. Lah. A week after, Varun has set up shop. Father Vikash gave him a huge proportion of his savings to fulfill Varun's dream. Nervous bhi tha, khush bhi tha. Kahi saare chaire bante the face pe. Har do minute baad soch. Jaise jaise soch aati hai na, maamad. He has promised to return the capital to his dad Vikash in a year. So Vikash can help his only daughter Vinny. Papa, hmm? lo ice cream khali. Vinny needs at least twenty-five thousand U.S. dollars to study and work in Canada, her ultimate dream. Vikash and his wife, Vandana, have already enrolled her in English language classes. तो वैसा नहीं है कि किसी को थोड़ी देर के लिए मैं रोक लूं कि 5 साल रुक जाओ तुम्हारा बाद में देखेंगे कठिनाई जरूर है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कि बहुत ही असंभव सा कार्य है बप्पे अब रास्ता बनता है क्या तूने वो शाहरुख खान की फिल्म नहीं देखी उसमें वो कहता नहीं है कोई अच्छा काम शुरू करना शुरू करो सारी प्रकृति तुम्हारा साथ देना शुरू कर देती है मतलब मुझे हाइलाइट्स करनी है तो मैं आपके दिमाग में डाल रहा कि इतना पैसा रखो अरेंज करके अगर बाहर भेजना है तो सब हो जाएगा बेटा किसी से लेना नहीं है अपने उधार से लेना नहीं है कोई but back at the shop Varun is finding out that running a business isn't so easy भाई ये आपने कैसे बटर दे दिया रे देखो क्या है आपको बोला था मलान देने के लिए आपने अंदर खरारा कर रखा है और इतना वो और इतना ऑयली डाल रखा है देखो <laughs> Today is the first time that Yuzu and Kaide are seeing Grandma's altar at home. In Japan, the family prays over the bones of their dead for 49 days before burying them in the family grave. This gives the family time to grieve. Grandma's passing 
has inadvertently made the sisters, Haruka and Yuka, worry about their own parents. そうだね。っていうのは。ね。いいことだけど。うん。でも本当おばあちゃんまのことは急だったよね。なんかまさか。お父さんが私のお父さんが。なんかお葬式は盛大にしたいのとかって聞いたら、なんか今はそういうこと
It's been three weeks since Varun Sharma opened his own food shop. And he's having to make a tough decision. For now, it is breaking even. But it is far from making a profit. So if you think that if you want to make 1% of 1%, if you want to make a loss, if you want to make a loss, if you want to make a loss, then you will have a loss in the house. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future or not. After that, there is a family, a little brother and sister. I will support them. I will keep them on daily basis. I will keep them on daily basis. I will keep them on the kitchen line. Why won't they go? Everything won't go. Double cap, double cap. Double cap, double cap. Double cap, double cap. Double cap, double cap. His biggest problem? Managing egos in the kitchen. How much? 30,000. Give me 50,000. Give me 50,000. Give me 50,000. I'm doing the same thing, I'm doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing. Like someone has a car, he's thinking that this is a very bad car. I wanted to keep a good person. Because he doesn't understand how to work. Sometimes he's doing the same thing. 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 What will he come? Tell me about it once. I'm telling you, you don't have to write it, you don't have to write it. I'm telling you, what do I forget? What do I forget? I'm a little bit of a little bit. 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 I'm probably going to take care of myself. तो वो चिंता जो उसके चेहरे पे रहती मैं नहीं चाहता था कि वो क्योंकि नौकरी में जब था वो खुश था आता था सो जाता था भाई ये आपने कैसे बटरों दे दिया यार देखो and today an angry customer demands a refund आपको बोला था मुलायम जी निकले आपने इतना खरारा कर रखा और इतना वो और इतना ऑयली डाल रखा है देखो ऐसा थोड़ा होता है यार अजीब अजीब बात कर रहे हो आप ये अरे होता है इतना इतना थोड़ा होता है जितना है इतना थोड़ा वो तेल में से कढ़ाई में से निकलता है सबसे ज़्यादा ये देखो तो सही है देख के हम यार देख के चीज़ क्या करो बता तो क्या करो खाओ इसको लेके गए ऐसा नहीं खा सकते हैं डिसीजन लेटे टाइम कुछ लगता है कि हाँ कुछ गलत डिसीजन ले लिया फिर फीलिंग्स बड़ी बैड फीलिंग आती है यहाँ आप पहली बारी का वो कंप्लेंट लेकर आए हो हमारे पास अब दूसरा तो ये नहीं चलेगा दूसरे के चार्ज लगेंगे दोबारा हमारे पास क्यों नहीं होता यार ये अजीब अजीब बात कर रहा है ऐसे में कैसे चलेगा काम